talking about Doji Care anymore, like, I get it, it's very old news. We have bigger things going on right now, but I actually wanted to release this video a lot earlier. But anyway, here we are now. I kind of wanted to focus on one thing in particular that she was slammed for. And that was a video where she was talking about her 40 hair. As this is a channel where I like to talk about hair, particularly type 4 hair, I thought this was a great opportunity to talk about something that's not really talked about that much within the natural hair community. At least I feel like it. So for those who don't know, Doja Cat is a biracial woman. She has a black South African dad who's actually quite famous and a Jewish mother. However, she grew up with her Jewish mother in a predominantly white area. And I don't think she actually met her father. This will be relevant in a moment. So she got slammed for basically um, being on Instagram live and kind of complaining about her hair and how much she kind of, I don't wanna say hates, but kind of hates her hair <laughs> and the way she was talking about 4C hair in general it kind of added more fuel to the fire about her hating black people or having some kind of preference for her white side as opposed to her black side which she would kind of talk down about so here's the video I watch it and then we'll talk you know i had my hair cornrowed last night i came home i i decornrowed it and cried bitch my scalp feels like ground zero. My scalp, it hurts so bad. I had my cornrows in for three months, two months. I don't wear my hair like this because it's hard to wear my hair like this. It's damn near impossible to wear my hair like this without my hair getting up. That shit is just like, I already definitely, definitely have split ends, you know? I left it in that long because I just, I don't know, I'm like, I'm like anti-social as I'm on Instagram live, but like dead ass, like I'm not trying to like get my hair touched on all the time. Like I think I just don't like people <laughs> just kidding no it's not that it's like knowing i'm gonna oh i gotta when i could be playing the sims or playing with my booty hole or something i could be doing much more fun things than getting my hair braided you know why do i want to get my hair braided for five years Five hours, I meant. That's a little bit. 4C is, 4C could suck my ass, is what 4C could do. 4C could, thought I heard my boyfriend. 4C could bend over and lick my ass. Good luck trying to finger comb it. Good luck trying to put a wide tooth through it the first couple of minutes. Jesus Christ. Why even God was like, let me give this 4C hair just so that she could go bald. You know what I mean? My falls out. But I never actually look bald. Maybe because it's thick, it seems like a lot of hair is coming out. But when I take, when I take my like, when I comb, take out my braids, brush, 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 so much hair. Curly hair could suck my dick. Ha, ha, ha. I hate this bro. It's not fun. I'll leave my hair. There's probably a one inch layer thick of residue, build up, oil all on my scalp. I'm the nasty bitch. I'm a nasty bitch. Like, I don't touch my hair. Bitch, I love it, but what the is there to love about my scalp feeling like it's on fire all the time after I take my braids out? That shit hurts. I was like crying. Right, so where do we start? 
Also, friendly reminder, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe, I love you forever. For me, when I see most mixed race people, most of the time, I tend to see looser curls. It's kind of lighter hue of hair. Typically, like, type three category type of hair. They are oftentimes praised for their hair in the black community. If they are surrounded by the black community, if they've grown up around their black family, the Doja Cat's K, she has 4C hair. She grew up with her white side of the family. I always wanna see things coming from their context. So this is someone who has the most fragile type of hair, arguably the most difficult type of hair to have. And she didn't have her black side of the family to deal with her hair or to maybe coach her mother on how to treat her hair. Uh, things like that, you know? So she's going to a point where she feels some type of resentment. She struggles a lot with her hair. And people are slamming her about that and saying that, you know, she must hate herself. Most women who have 4 hair are black women, dark-skinned black women. So let's be real. If you have 4 hair or you have friends who have 4 hair, you know for a fact that it's not easy. Definitely, I've heard from friends, even from myself, we have our little rants and we kind of vent to each other about the struggles of our hair. As much as I advocate for 4 hair and for representation, for education on our hair, you know, I will admit, it's not easy. Imagine being in an environment where people have pretty much hair on the opposite side of the spectrum and you don't know what you're doing with your hair. Imagine the kind of result you'll get in the end. I, I would never, I don't really expect someone who's grown up in that environment to love their hair especially when mixed girls are kind of praised for having a looser type of hair and if you don't fit into that kind of standard that kind of norm you're kind of like pushed to the side in a way but for me i like to wear my hair in braids a lot of the time mostly because i kind of just like the way braids look on me i feel like they really suit me they're kind of like my signature look i probably will get braids like pretty soon because I don't know what this is. <laughs> but also because it's a convenient way for me to manage my hair. I can be very lazy sometimes. Sometimes I just want to get up and just get on with my day. I don't want to have to sit down and like, you know, deal with a twist out or if my twist out goes wrong, it's like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I have to put my hair in a bun every day. Sometimes I just want to get up and go about my business. I don't want to deal with my hair. So braids are very convenient for me in that way. I have a great hairstylist. She comes to my house, very quick, very easy. Um, it's not too tight. My edges aren't as damaged up as so she does my hair as opposed to other hairdressers I've had. Literally, she's in and out within a few hours. Even with all that, I don't like to get my hair done. I really don't. I get braids all the time, but I really don't like to get my hair braided. I don't like it. Even if there's no pain involved, I just don't like the process. It's long. I literally have to mentally psych myself up <laughs> before I get my hair done. I will also include the clip of her response to this backlash regarding her hair. I had a video of me um, talking about my hair. Um, I have a lot of trouble taking care of my hair. So when I am not either my hair is straightened or I have a wig on. I'm pretty much I'm pretty much okay, but when I'm trying to comb out, wash, do this twist, everything, it's frustrating for me. It's very hard for me. Um a lot of my friends would agree who have hair like mine that they have a hard time taking care of it. Uh what I think that the mistake may have been that I made was saying it on a social platform, saying it out in public, maybe being honest about um, how I feel. So I think it's slightly hypocritical in a way for people to be slamming her for kind of openly and honestly talking about her struggles with her hair. I mean, the only issue I had with that Instagram live was that there were some comments from black women who were kind of like, yeah, I hate my 4 hair too. 4 hair sucks. And it's like, no serious, we're, we're not doing that. You know that clip in Mean Girls where they like go around in a circle, the plastics kind of go around saying, oh, I hate this about myself, I hate that. And they go around in the circle, each saying something that they hate. No, that's toxic. <laughs> we shouldn't be promoting that. However, there were people who in the group who were trying to give her advice, who were trying to encourage her in a way, which is really nice to see. I'm a black person. I don't want to speak for mixed people. They have every right to speak about their own experiences but from my perspective it seems as though if you're gonna have mixed children for their own well-being for their own physical and mental state we need to teach them about both sides of their heritage it's important to learn about how to deal with textured hair instilling self-worth self-love whether you're a white mother to a mixed child or a black eh? 
or a <laughs> white father to a mixed child, you have to take on that responsibility to learn how to deal with your child's hair because it's not like yours. So yeah, I'm not gonna make this video very long. I'll just keep it short just to get to the point. Just to make it a point that there are mixed girls with 4C hair through more representation and through more education about our hair that situations like this won't happen as frequently in the future if you like this video give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and leave a comment let me know your thoughts and your opinions bye bye